Hey, what's up folks? Today I'm gonna show you how to do a five pound center cut brisket on the Weber 22 using Meat Church's Holy Cow Injection as well as John Henry's Garlic Mojave Pepper Rub. Um, so that being said, let's get started. Gonna start with injection, injecting the brisket. Then I'm gonna season it up. I got the Weber uh, heating up right now. So I'll show you each step along the way. All right, I'm gonna start with the injection. In my noodle here. It's got multi holes all over, so get it in there and it's just gonna inject throughout. Okay. Get this thing nice and loaded. All right. Always go in with the grain. And slowly inject it as I slowly pull the needle out. You just see it. Oh! Hate it when it does that. There we go. I don't know what about it is with the with the injections. They always oh, smell so terrible. When you smell the bag or even this mixed with the water. Smells awful. A lot of it's already coming out. That's fine though. That'll work as a binder for the for the rub. This thing came pre-trimmed for the most part. So I didn't have to do much. I did take down some of the cap on the other side. And I'm gonna be using the Slow and Sears uh, drip and griddle pan to collect the juices from this. I'll use my fat separator and reapply it to this after I get this thing all sliced up and it'll help keep the brisket moist for the days after that I'll be eating this. All right, that should do it. All right, guys, let's get it rubbed up. Let's see, I'm gonna do this. I'll do this cap side up. So let's start this side. Doesn't smell just like straight up salt and pepper. Smells good. Knowing John Henry's rubs, man, this is gonna be top notch. Top notch. Not gonna have it shorted a shortage of flavor, that's for sure. Okay, we got it there. Make sure we get all those edges. Oh, flip it over. Here we go. And this this fat on here is just like butter. Got a couple bad bald spots on there. There's my
All right, guys, we're uh, seven and a half hours into it. Uh, we're in the stall for sure. It's 160. I just finished probing it, so right now I'm going to take it off and wrap it in butcher paper. Uh, I'll give it to you in for a closer look. Alright guys, so I'm gonna bring this in, wrap it in a towel, let it rest for about an hour and a half, two hours, and we'll be back. Man, it's so nice and tender. Can't wait to cut into this thing.
Mm. Man, that's, a, that's some good stuff. That'd be great on ribs, too. I'll be doing that soon. Um, anyways, guys, appreciate you watching. To all my subscribers out there, thank you. Appreciate your support. To all my viewers out there, thank you. Appreciate your support. Um, stay tuned. Got a lot of videos on deck. So uh, I'll be seeing you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm-mm-mm.